this water boiling, the heat of the fire, and cooking on the skillet are all examples of heat transfer. In simple terms, heat is the transfer of energy from objects of different temperatures. As objects warm up or cool down, their kinetic energy changes. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. Temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy of the particles in an object. As temperature increases, the energy of motion increases. As the water warms up, and the temperature increases, you can see an increase in the movement. Heat can be transferred in at least three ways, conduction, convection, and radiation. Conduction is a process in which the transfer of heat takes place between objects by direct contact. It is most often associated with solids. The key to conduction is direct contact. The heat of the pan is transferred to the many pizzas. The energy of the frying pan is transferred to the eggs. Notice that they are in direct contact. Convection is heat transfer by the movement of a fluid such as air or water when the heated fluid is caused to move away from the source of heat, carrying the energy with it. It occurs due to density. Lava lamps are examples of convection. As the liquid is heated, it rises and falls as it heats and cools. As the paper burns, the air is heated up and begins to rise. The burning paper is swept up in the convection current, cools, and falls back down. These beans are another example of convection. As the beans warm up, they rise and then cool and fall back down, and repeat this over and over again. Radiation heat is transmitted without any physical contact between objects. Watch how the temperature of the lamp is transferred to the thermometer without touching it. These alligators and lizards use radiation from the sun to warm their bodies. If you'd like to know more about heat transfer and conduction, convection, and radiation, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.